very people friendly city it's always a privilege to work as police commissioner in this beautiful city of bhubaneswar and millennium city of kannur technology you can say that state of the art manpower to fight naxalism and you can see today orissa is one of the best state in fighting naxalism after when i was additional sp when the super cyclone of 1999 struck orissa and subsequently in 2019 when another big cyclone called funny which uh, hit puri that time i was the inspector general of police so i have fond memories of you know being in chennai then having friends there i have also very fond memories of you know building that career on which my future career rested and one of the most notorious criminal was to be fired at because out of the uh, you know, compulsion in exercise of right of private defense uh, we did it that most famous criminal was some a neutralized minor uh, getting sexually assaulted or be a very sensational cases of acid throwing which we reopened after almost 10 years to get the man convicted so in a, uh, i told you earlier during an informal discussion i uh, always remember the chennai traffic that the model traffic the biggest problem is you can have the crime perpetrated some are sitting in nigeria or sitting in part of bihar or rajasthan or any part of the country so it becomes very difficult to actually physically nab another thing but what but is important is the self discipline you have many more things available at your palm top at your laptop compared to what we were in our heydays we so have my you know tremendous responsibility towards our parents so our parents who was uh, made us what we are today நேர்களை <laughs> taking bhubaneswar and katak the two most important cities in odisha this is a very very beautiful place you would have heard recently we organized the world cup hockey that to second time in a row it's a very very industry friendly city it's a very people friendly city it's always a privilege to work as police commissioner in this beautiful city of bhubaneswar and millennium city of katak uh, which are the most important cities of odisha before entering into crime questions can you say something about your police career I when you started what's yes. your because it will be inspiration for yeah. you yeah. i have been a police person who has worked all the 360 degrees i had the privilege of working as the superintendent of police puri where lord jagannath temple is there i worked there for more than almost 5 years and had the privilege of organizing the most famous festival of odisha the rath yatra for five times as sp for three times as the ig of the range and also as officer on special duty in nabagadwa second is i also worked as the sp of katak which is a part of police commissionerate today and i took up crime head on and i contributed significantly to reduce crime in that millennium city one more biggest important aspect of my career was anti naxal operation i worked 2 years as range dig of the most affected uh, range of odisha that is korapur that was the time between 2010 to 12 when naxalism was at its peak in odisha chatisgarh and erstwhile andhra pradesh i had the privilege of being in the operations monitoring the operation i worked there for 2 years that was the time when odisha started 
you know, developing its own state of the art uh, techno technology, you can say that state of the art manpower to fight Naxalism. And you can see today, Orissa is one of the best state in fighting Naxalism. After that, for four years and three months, I worked as Inspector General of Police operation, looking after the anti naxal operation and the general operation in the state. That was a very satisfying career. And I can proudly say this six years tenure was significantly uh, contributed to turning the table uh, uh, in favor of police against the naxals. Another important aspect that has, you know, good mark in my career is disaster management. Uh, you know, Odisha as a state is excellent in managing disaster and I had the privilege of handling it. When I was additional SP, when the super cyclone of 1999 struck Odisha and subsequently in 2019, when another big cyclone called Funny, which uh, hit Puri, that time I was the inspector general of police of that range. So if you look at it, be it crime control, be it anti naxal operation, be it uh, disaster management or be it the normal police arrangement which we call as bandobas. I had, uh, I can always claim that I had experience in all the, these important aspects of policing in the state of Odisha. In your 1995 batch officer, you were Padichi the Yengan Pata, Nama, Anna University Engineering College and also is an engineering student. Can you remember those days, sir? Yes, it was a very, very, you know, memorable day because that built my career in Anna University. After passing out uh, in 89, I worked with Tata Motors for about three years before trying and succeeding in civil service examination to join Indian Police Service and more importantly to join Indian Police Service in Odisha cadre, which is my home cadre. So I have fun memories of, you know, being in Chennai, then having friends there. I have also very fond memories of, you know, building that career on which my future career rested. I learned the basics, Anna University, of course, that's my alma mater. So there are really fond memories. Of course, once you are in the service, the connect is partly lost because you uh, you always remain busy you cannot it becomes very difficult to go back to your alma mater but those memories are very strong thank you thank you sir can you remember some of your interesting cases or challenging cases in your career see when i joined uh, katak uh, people used to talk about antisocial activities crimes in katak that was the time when we had uh, uh, I took uh, crime up front and one of the most notorious criminal was to be fired at because out of uh, you know, compulsion in exercise of right of private defense, uh, we did it that most famous criminal was somewhere neutralized and that is how the crime scene in Katak started getting contained and that uh, never resurfaced again. Uh, so that is one case I always fondly remember as IG uh, Central Range Odisha. We had a very sensational murder case. In fact, uh, there one of the top most industrialists whose uh, you know involvement was distinct. We get him now. So there are so many cases. But let me tell you very honestly, I also worked as additional DG of police crime branch of the state heading the entire crime setup. There are many such cases, be it particularly the cases of, uh, you know, minor um, getting sexually assaulted or be a very sensational cases of acid throwing, which you reopened after almost 10 years to get the man convicted. So in a uh, career of sp spanning over more than 28 years now, there are so many cases which you do remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the long run, these are the cases which have a lot of impact on society as well. And let me tell you very honestly, lot of such cases uh, I have personally handled. Okay. What's your magic mantra on traffic issues? Because uh, before we discuss the issue, you told that uh, Chennai Commission is the, you are giving an example for your uh, department. See, traffic is a dynamic uh, prog program, you can say. In a city like Bhubaneswar, the growth has been, I mean, very, very significant. 
I am born in the city, but what I saw and the way the city is growing is a multi-dimensional growth. So traffic always remains a challenge. What is important is the people needs to be sensitized. Enforcement is only the part of four E's that makes the traffic effective because there is engineering, there is uh, you know education, then there is uh, you know uh, emergency care, and of course enforcement. We have been trying to educate people, starting from school level, to abide by the traffic rules. As uh, I told you earlier during informal discussion, I uh, always remember the Chennai traffic as a model traffic. I'm talking about way back in 1989. So we always try to focus on the aspect of the training, that is the education. Because that, once the society gets sensitized about obeying the traffic rules, the traffic will improve. So it has to be a multi-directional, multi-dimensional approach to solve the problems of traffic. My men on the field, they are very hardworking, very sincere, very well motivated. But what is important is you have to augment them. You have to augment by technology because where technology can be used, for traffic that work as a force multiplier or a man multiplier. So that is one aspect we are also focusing on. And for a growing city like Bhubaneswar, which has started attracting a lot of investment, it has been the sports capital of India, you can say. You see so many sports activities going on. So traffic always remains a priority as police commissioner of the city. Sir, nowadays cyber crime is a threat for everyone. It's not only depending on one state or other cities. It's completely a national threat for everyone. So what's your update on cyber crime? See, I'll tell you, we haven't uh, done much work as compared to Tamil Nadu, Telangana, uh, Kerala police. But let me tell you one thing. Cyber crime is a contactless and borderless crime. When a crime has a contact, the ability of police to detect it becomes a little easier. But a dynamic crime like cyber crime, where every day the cyber criminal updates, the police needs to update. This has been a tremendous focus uh, area for Bhubaneswar police as well. Even during our foundation day, our Honorable Chief Minister directed all of us to focus on cyber crime. Again, in cyber crime, the most important factor is to sensitize people. You know, even the bank people, they keep on sending messages that you should not share your PIN, you should not share your important numbers, OTP number, OTP numbers. So that is very important besides detecting these cases. The biggest problem is you can have the crime perpetrated somewhere sitting in Nigeria or sitting in part of Bihar or Rajasthan or any part of the country. So it becomes very difficult to actually physically nab another thing. But, you know, Taking into the importance of cyber crime, we take it on case-to-case -case basis. But I always try to appeal people, one has to be very careful because we are transforming. Basically, the entire mode of payment is transformed to the virtual mode. It's no more cash transaction over the counter. So that is why this cyber crime remains a challenge for Bhuvaneshwar Police. We are actually sincerely trying to upgrade ourselves. We are trying to get experts hired for helping the police in detection of cyber crime. We have recently, Honorable Chief Minister has declared 14 cyber and economic offense police stations inaugurated in the state, two are there in Bhubaneswar and, and Katak. So this has been a focus area, but we always try to reach people, sensitizing them about the do's and don'ts when they transact, when they make you know uh, payments and other things. Okay. Is there any one of your friends in Tamil Nadu police? Of course, we have a lot of friends. Davidson, Devasirvanam, Sandeep Mittal, Bala Nagadevi, they are all there in Tamil Nadu. They are my batchmates in Indian police service, very good friends. Uh, we all know they are all excellent officers. We have friends like Sandhya and all they are in IAS. So it's always, you know, fun remembrance when we talk about Tamil Nadu because I had my, you know, educational career built there. Okay. Hope you will watch movies. What's your favorite movie? 
and it's close to your heart particularly related to police subjects see not a very avid uh, movie go but uh, you know a movie like ganga jal it has this tremendous impact yeah. or for that matter entertaining me with like three dear these are the movie which uh, you know make you connect to the grassroots and these are the movies i really enjoy last and final question sir what's your personal advice to the younger generation see the younger generation are more equipped as far as information is con- concerned gadgetry is concerned but what is important is the self discipline you have many more things available at your palm top at your laptop compared to what we were in our heydays so my first thing is self discipline is the most important thing second focus and dedication because once you have focus and a dedicated approach on that focus you can succeed in any endeavor you try to do so that is my appeal see everything is achievable i always say everything is achievable but in hindi we call it mehnat and lagan focus dedication and hard work if these three things you combine success will follow you you need not chase the success society is first change we are going towards nuclear family see we are of the generation where joint families were very much there so when we go to the nuclear the nuclear family normally the family tree appears to become little weak we have you know tremendous responsibility towards our parents it's our parents who has uh, made us what we are today to so respect for parents taking care of parents are two important things that everyone should do one more thing i try to add on this we must learn the art of giving you know gandhi ji once told there is enough on this earth for human need but there is not enough for human greed so the we should have the uh, you know the penchant for the art of giving because if you look at the people who live in slums who are on the road sides the beggars they are deprived people we must share what we have in excess that is one of the uh, things that has been very popularized of now you can see the top most industrial is they um, in the, in western countries they contribute significantly to charity we must develop that habit of contributing to charity thank, thank you, you so much sir it's a pleasure to be on blue pics your channel and i really enjoy uh, conversing with you and conversing with uh, somebody who is from the place where i built up my you know, professional career thank you very much vanakkam in the interview vandu ungalukku romba pidichirukku nu nenikiren பல முக்கியமான அறிவுரைகளை சொல்லியிருக்கிறது அது அறிவுரைகளாக எடுத்துக்காம அதை ஃபாலோ பண்ணாலும் எல்லாருமே லைஃப்பில் ஜெயிக்கலாம் ஸோ இந்த வீடியோ பிடிச்சிருந்தால் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் கிரைம் பாயிண்ட்டில் மீண்டும் ஒரு முக்கிய விஏபியோடு உங்களை சந்திக்கிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் வணக்கம் வணக்கம்